Hi, I'm Laura from YourHypnotic.com, social media at Sugar Free Laura. I work in sports psychology and as a private yoga teacher. Oh gosh, let's touch on a huge relationship between your digestive system and your gut and friendly bacteria and your mood. Typically anxiety, stress, worry, and even they affect the cognitive functions like lack of focus or concentration. If you don't have all your microfloral, the friendly bacteria in your digestive system, it can potentially do all sorts of problems with your brain chemistry. Now, if you experience a loss of a loved one, it's normal to have depression. If you're being threatened, it's normal to have anxiety and stress. But what I want to touch on is what there's actually no reason when there's actually no reason to have depression, or anxiety, stress or worry. I want to touch on the actual physical thing that becomes your microbes actually make proteins talking about transmitters, which are like a hormone proteins that travel through your nervous system, like GABA, for example, if you're lacking GABA and you can be depressed and then you can have a serotonin and its relationship to your mood, you realize that 90% of our serotonin in your body is made in your gut. Only 10% is made by your brain and there are other transmitters that are made by your gut as well. So if you do not have the right ratios of microbes, if you don't have enough microbes, that can have a huge effect over your body's ability to make neurotransmitters. Then you have something called the, the eccentric nervous system, which is really the connection between all your nerves in your gut and the direct connection to your brain. So what is going on down here definitely affects on what's going on up here. So how do we lose our microfloral? Well, mainly through antibiotics. Now you might say, well, I haven't had any for years, you know, since a kid, but ugh, guess what? Over 80% of antibiotics are sold as growth factor for farm animals. So you're basically getting antibiotics indirectly when you're consuming commercial meat. Ugh. And that's why I always recommend consuming organic meat. I will do a separate video on that this means, or you know, organic means that it's without use of pesticides, insecticides, GMO foods, plus without antibiotics. So I recommend doing that. But it's sometimes it's hard to go to dinner or anything because you don't really know what you're getting. This is one that I'm working on is using artificial sweeteners. They greatly affect your, your microfloral and your gut as well. So if you're on a diet, diet soda for long, that could affect your microfloral. And lastly, GMOs, E, foods which are started by her, uh, herbicide, greatly disrupt your microfloral and it can affect your ability to make proteins. So there's a couple things you can do that are very simple to improve these three. One is to take a probiotic and a prebiotic together, like in sauerkraut, kimchi, Pickles, fermented vegetables. In fact, fermented vegetables on a daily basis, that's a way you can kill two birds with one stone. Because a prebiotic is the fiber, then it has a probiotic, well, and that you can avoid like things that destroy your microfloral. And by that way, I mean long term use of laxatives can really throw off your microfloral. So anything that affects diarrhea, like in medication, or even things that you're eating in food, like food allergies, creating that problem. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to help, subscribe and hit the like button. May your day be filled with love and satisfaction. Namaste. <laughs>